this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Hi, Omni Kids, I'm back. It's Dr. Hayes Burrell. We're back again, and we are going to talk about Kwanzaa. We've already celebrated Christmas, and I know you had a wonderful, wonderful day celebrating the birth of Christ, exchanging presents with your family and your friends. And the next day, over the next seven days, that is, we will be talking about Kwanzaa. We will be celebrating Kwanzaa. So you might ask, what is Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa is an African-American holiday celebrating African heritage and culture. It was created in 1966 by Dr. Karenga and is now celebrated by millions of people worldwide. The word Kwanzaa comes from a Swahili phrase that says Matunda Ye Kwanzaa, which means first fruits. Now, Kwanzaa is also based on seven core principles. We're going to talk about the principles at the end. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you my table. I'm going to set up my Kwanzaa table here, and then I'm going to take it upstairs next to my Christmas tree. So since we talked about Kwanzaa and it's a week-long celebration, it honors our African heritage and our culture. We observe it from December 26th through January the 1st, every single year. So during Kwanzaa, a table is set up and seven symbols then represent the seven principles of African culture and community. Here are the seven symbols of Kwanzaa and their meaning. But before we begin, we're gonna pray. God, we thank you that you've given us this space and time to come together. We honor you with all that we have and all that we are. We thank you for each and every gift that you've given us physically and intrinsically, those gifts that are inside that we're gonna now pour out and give back to the world. We thank you for this day. In your son's name, I pray. Amen. The first symbol is called Mkeka. This is the mat. It's usually made of straw. It can be made of cloth. And you put that on your table. And this is where all the other Kwanzaa symbols are going to be placed on top of it. The mat represents the foundation of all African tradition and history in Keka. The second is the maizo, which are crops and fruits and vegetables and nuts. They represent the African harvest and they celebrate and we celebrate and we show respect for the people who labor to grow them. These pecans came from the tree from my father's hometown in Mullen, South Carolina. We have a big pecan tree in the yard and my aunt sends me a box of pecans every year when we get a harvest. This is pomegranate. I love pomegranate. Definitely love oranges. Oh, I love oranges too. Oranges. In the backyard in the house where I grew up, there was this huge pear tree and my mom would cut pears and make pear pie and tarts out of it every year. These are the fruits that we harvest. The canara. Canara. It's the candle holder. This wooden block is called the canara, and it holds the candles that represent the original stalk from which all African ancestors came. It holds the seven candles. Mishimua. In the seven candles, each of them represent a different color for us. Mishimua. Each candle is then red, the black, and the green. This is symbolic of the African people and their struggles. Muhindi, Muhindi, Muhindi is corn. Stalks and stalks of corn. Corn represents African children. It represents all the children that we have, African children and the promise of their future. One ear of corn is set out for each child in the family. In a family without children, 
one ear of corn is set out to symbolically represent children in our community. So, you know, I have children and I have grandchildren. So I'm putting them down for my children and my grandchildren. Kekumbe Chai Umoja. There you go. Big words. Kekumbe Chai Umoja. That is the unity cup. The unity cup symbolizes the first principle in Kwanzaa, the unity of the family and of the African people. The cup is used to pour libations. You can put water in it, juice, fruit, or wine for family and friends. And the last symbol that goes on the table is Zawadi. Zawadi, gifts. Gifts represent the labors of the parents and the rewards of their children. Gifts are given to educate and to enrich children. They may include a book, a piece of art, or an educational toy. At least one of the gifts is a symbol of our African heritage. The seven symbols of Kwanzaa, the appearance. We have the ears of corn, we've got the straw mat, we've got the cup that symbolizes unity, the candle holder, the candles, and the fruits and the vegetables. These seven candles also help us to represent the holidays' seven key principles. And what are the key principles? The first principle is umoja. It means unity. The first candle that I'm going to light is the one in the back. It's the black one. We like that one, Moja, to strive for and maintain unity in the family, the community, and the nation and the race. The first day of Kwanzaa, that's the first one we like. The second one is Kujichakalia. It means self-determination. We like that red candle to define ourselves, to name ourselves, to create for ourselves, and to speak for ourselves. On this night, normally we have the African naming ceremony at the church. If you need an African name, if you haven't received your African name, put in the application so that you can too have your African name. My African name is Dailila Ayan. Dailila Ayan. The third principle, Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. To build and maintain our community together and make our brothers and sisters problems, our problems, and we help them solve it together. Yujama, Yujama. This is cooperative economics, Yujama. Yujama, to build our own stores and shops and other businesses and to profit from them together. Yujama. The next principle is Nia, purpose. To make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. The sixth one. Kayumba, creativity, creativity, Kayumba. To always do as much as we can in the way that we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. Kayumba, creativity. And the last candle is Imani, faith. Imani. To believe with all our heart in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. To have faith, Iman. These are the seven principles of Kwanzaa and how we light the candles. There's a song that we sing at church, and it is wonderful. And it says, Kwanzaa, 
is a holiday. Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa is an African holiday. Seven principles, seven candles, seven black days for the African. Kwanzaa is a holiday. Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa is an African holiday. Seven principles, seven candles, seven black days for the African. I hope you celebrate your Kwanzaa ceremonies this week, this year, and may you all be filled and have your days be filled with powerful love, courage, peace, unity, strength, positivity, and hope for a better, better, better tomorrow because greatness lies within you. Well, this is the end of this Omni moment. Hope to see you in service soon. And of course, we want you to like and share this video with all of your friends. And we'll see you the next time on the Omni Moment. Have a good day. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine